Starting a faceless YouTube channel might seem like a distant dream, especially if you're bombarded with misleading videos online. But trust me, it's not only possible, it's achievable. I've monetized three channels now using this approach, and I'm here to share my exact blueprint with you. About 10 months ago, I embarked on the journey into faceless YouTube channels. Now, my initial strategy was paraphrasing hot political topics and using creative common videos, as I've said many times in the past. This method definitely drew views, but when it came to monetization and when I applied, YouTube flagged my content as repetitive and wouldn't accept me into the partner program. And it was a huge lesson. YouTube's policies on monetization are quite intricate and they demand originality, if I'm being honest. But this is what works. The first step to starting a successful channel is actually choosing the right niche, which should be blended between your interests and your knowledge, combined with what's not oversaturated and also has interest. And this makes content creation enjoyable and adds an authentic touch, but also ensures that you can still get views. Don't just jump on trending niches without research. You should be interested in your topic, but you also need to understand the competition, the audience interest, and ensure that there's actually room for you to stand out. Now, when it comes to creating the videos, the first step is creating a winning script. With AI now, it's super easy to just use ChatGPT to form your initial draft, but always add your personal touch to avoid a robotic feel and a robotic script. The intro hook is crucial too. It decides whether viewers will stick around and invest their time or not. So don't skimp on the intro. This should take the most time and what you should focus on the most. Write it, perfect it, and perfect it again. And study how your audience responds to it so if something works, you can replicate that again and again. Next comes the voiceover. Now, a human voiceover brings an irreplaceable charm that AI just can't match, and it connects with the audience and increases your engagement. You can record it yourself, or you can find an affordable freelancer on Fiverr, but I would not recommend going the AI voiceover route. You can get away with it for a period of time potentially, but it's not a smart or a sustainable approach long-term. I've outlined why in a recent video, so if you wanna understand why in depth, just search the channel for can you monetize AI voiceovers for faceless YouTube automation channels, revealing the secret. Finally, the third component is the visuals, what you see. Now, whiteboard animation works for some topics, and I have some channels that do use it, but freelancers can create these for around 10 to $20 per video if you find the right one, so you really don't need to do it yourself either. Alternatively, stock videos paired with motion graphics can be effective too. Whatever route you choose, remember that quality is key, and I definitely wouldn't recommend going like the stock picture or stock video route and overlaying text. That's kind of played out in like five years ago. You won't be able to compete on YouTube now doing that in my opinion. You're better off with a few great videos than a bunch of mediocre ones overall because YouTube views are exponential. Finally, you need to invest in good thumbnails and spend time creating intriguing titles that actually get clicks. These are the gateways to your content. Now, you can find excellent designers on Fiverr who can create engaging thumbnails for just $5 if you're not able to yourself, and it's worth experimenting with different designers over and over again to find the right fit too. If you're strapped for title ideas, then ask ChatGPT to suggest several clickable variations that will make viewers want to watch and then pick your favorite one. Now, over Overall, while the process does sound simple, and it is, it does either demand your time or your investment into freelancers. But the reward is a consistent monthly income through ad revenue, but not just ad revenue, also affiliate marketing and brand deals. It's definitely been a thrilling journey starting and scaling these three. I'm on to the fourth, so we'll see how fast I can monetize that now. But I promise you, if I can do it, you can as well. Remember, ultimately, YouTube isn't about just creating videos and posting them. It's about creating a connection with your audience and consistently delivering value around that same niche. I hope this video helps.